Hello everybody, I'm Natalie. I teach the art of hand balancing and different ways to improve your handstands. This is a short introduction to spiraling movement patterns, which are great to activate more mobility in your spine and to activate the cross connections and diagonal lines in our body, which we need in order to execute more complex movements like handstands or acrobatics and dance. You can do spiraling movements on your off training days as a warm up or just as a thing in itself in order to fine tune your body and get the blood flow going in your muscles. So let's get started with some simple spiraling movement exercises. Let's start with a very basic movement pattern which does take a little bit of coordination though. This is what it looks like. Yeah. And it's a spiraling movement for your upper body and your shoulders. Let me just demonstrate this with one arm. So my right arm, yeah, so you can do this with your left arm if you want to mirror me. My right arm or your left arm goes along my side and then makes a big circle on the other side and it goes along the side, it like brushes along my side and then I create a big circle here. Yeah, so this is going from the bottom to the top and this is also from top to bottom yeah so this is one hand this is one hand and the other hand does the same thing so now try it with the other hand brush along your side and then create a big circle brush along your side create a big circle brush along the side, create a big circle, brush along the side, create a big circle. Now connect the two movements and imagine that your hands are always following the same line. Yeah. So as my hands go towards the side, one creates a big movement, the other one brushes alongside me. So again here, other side. And then I create a diagonal line here across my front. Yeah. So you will find that once you got used to the pattern, it moves your whole ribcage and upper body from side to side, from side to side. And there's also a little bit of a twist involved in this, right? So give way to that movement and use the momentum of your arms. Have a micro bend in your knees so you can use the bounce it creates, the bounce that the momentum and the weight of your arms create in order to make this movement more dynamic and connected and see how far you can take this into an even bigger movement that moves your whole upper body from side to side so you may find that um, it's useful to take your eyes off the video and just allow your head to flow with the movement of your spine yeah so that my eyes you can try following the hands with your eyes and that creates an even bigger movement as your whole spine is involved in this circular pattern. Okay, a few more times, make it smaller and bring it down, bring it down to the basic pattern, bring it down to the basic pattern and now pull your navel in towards your spine and try to isolate this movement in the upper body and make it smaller. Okay, relax your arms. Very good. Now step your feet apart slightly, um, a little bend in the knees and we are going to create a horizontal circle. Just watch once. So I create a big circle with my arms, then I let the arms come very close to my body here. I'm t almost touching my ribs and I spiral to the other side, to the other side. And then I open my arms, creating a big circle to the other side again. Okay. So it's very important in these exercises that you keep your core stable and engaged because all this circular movement is quite demanding for your spine. So you always want to stabilize, especially your lower back. Yeah, you should never feel pain in the lower back by, you should stabilize it by pulling the navel in towards the spine. 
really really try to pull the whole front of your spine in and try to tuck your hips under slightly yes yeah? so what we're trying to create here is almost an opposition of this movement versus our hips yeah so it's kind of like as my hands go this way my hip bones here want to almost go the other way in order to stabilize my um in order to stabilize the middle and the lower back against a rotating torso yeah so let's do this together a big spiral with the arms and then hands come close to you rotate to the other side and big and small big small big small now really focus on stabilizing your hips and your lower back staying front or pulling even the opposite direction of the arms and a few more times keep the bend in the knees and now take your eyes off the video follow your hands with your gaze and see whether the momentum of your arms the momentum that is created here by pulling the arms close to you and then opening them again opening them again and close to you opening whether this momentum can take you into a bigger spiral yeah so we are kind of wringing the spine out like a towel and bring it down let's do the other direction big and small big and small here in the big one that's why i tend to bend my knees most big really close to you big close to you big and close to you big close follow the gaze follow your hands with your gaze stabilize your lower back put the navel in towards the spine okay make it slower bring it down and bring it down and bring it down all right okay let's move on to some floor exercises lie down on the floor maybe you want to use a yoga mat for this i like to feel the contact with the floor directly and let's just start by mobilizing the hips a little bit so here with your navel pulled in towards your spine just gently rock your knees from side to side yeah so your feet stay firmly planted on the ground so they are rooted in the same spot while your knees are pulling you from side to side and this creates a gentle movement in the hips and the lower back all across to the top and let your breath flow with this as well gently make sure you're not holding your breath and just also feel this gentle massage of the floor against your lower back yeah as you're rolling your sacrum on the floor this creates like a gentle massage for your lower back okay and then once you've come here to the right side let your hips drop uh, let your knees drop a little bit further and come to a sideways position here with your knees bent and stretch the arm that's on the floor out and slide the other arm alongside the arm and then slide it back open everything out across on the floor and now curl your arm starting from the fingers you curl the fingers wrists elbow really close to really close to your body and stretch it to the front keep your head on the floor keep everything as relaxed as possible minimum effort curl the fingers wrist elbow shoulder off the floor slide it alongside your arm and reach to the front try to make sure that as much of your back is touching the floor as possible and your head is on the ground it isn't held up like this and try to imagine that you are melting into the ground yeah so you're just using minimal effort to pick up your arm and slide it across your front while your hips are staying in place 
and your knee especially here this one is staying in place it doesn't open up and repeat this try to make it a little bit faster try to make it a little bit faster and reach further here reach further so this shoulder here this shoulder here is pulling towards the ground as I open up yeah so when I am here stretched out my whole upper back is touching the floor um, this may be different for you depending on your overall flexibility but that is what we're aiming for if you can't reach that far if your upper back doesn't touch the floor then you just stretch the arm out here it may hover above the ground and then you bring it back yeah but this arm never lifts off okay let's do the same thing on the other side so i'm going to turn around so you can see me better and again lie down on your side slide this arm front and bring it back slide it all across your front onto the floor both shoulder blades touching the floor and now peel your fingers off the hand the elbow the arm slide it across your front stretch it out and come back stretch out on the floor peel your hand off slide it across the front melt into the floor minimum effort you're using minimum effort the hand is uh, the the head is on the floor relax on the floor and feel the ground gently pressing against your arm and slide it a little bit further and come back slide it a bit further okay now stay here on the side slide your hand front as far as you can and now create a circle above you here to arrive at the same position as we did when we were sliding the hand across the front and then we bring it back in a semicircle and it's very important that this hand aims at touching the ground here yeah so you are trying to have this arm straight the elbow straight and you're creating a semicircle across here and you also want to arrive here with your shoulder blades on the floor shoulder blades on the floor and to the front shoulder blades on the floor so you can probably feel here this movement here gives your side a stretch as well as some of the muscles here in the side of your arm okay let's do the same thing on the other side you can just stay here and shift your legs to the other side and I'm going to turn and again slide your arm across and a circular movement above you and come back the hand is always on the floor and try to keep this arm here straight and try to arrive here with both shoulder blades on the floor and come back so you will feel that you are creating a diagonal stretch here so your spine your hips are turning your hips are facing one direction and your upper body is facing front and that creates a rotation in your spine as well as a stretch all across the side and repeat this a few more times really imagine again that your weight and your bones are melting into the ground your head is staying on the floor and a few more times really always try to make sure you're touching the floor here with both shoulder blades and then you come back okay very good and let us come into a straddle position here once yeah and what we're going to do now is um, just a very basic circular movement but before we start that let's just make sure that we sit in a nice upright straddle position so your sit bones are touching the floor and try to keep your spine very straight yeah so try to not round your back which may happen if you're still struggling a little bit with hamstring flexibility 
and from here I'm trying to push my legs into the ground while I create a, a circular movement with my hands so you can interlock your fingers and try to make this circle bigger yes yeah? so I'm stretching as much front as possible here trying to create a big circle along the leg to the front side and come back and along the leg side and come back so you will feel that you have to both increase your flexibility slightly as well as keep yourself from falling to the front so you will get both a stretch and a strengthening effect from this and let's do this a few more times across the front across the front and then let's go the other direction and across the front and across and across now come back to the middle step straight try to increase the straddle see if your flexibility just check whether your flexibility has improved and test the limits here a little bit okay very good thank you very much for sharing your time with me this was a, an introduction to my practice of spiraling movement which encourages you to find pathways in your body that connect movement in a holistic way without hurting or injuring yourself but rather following what feels natural and making um and 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 finding what feels natural and amplifying that in your body if you like you can also check out my vimeo courses for hand balancing and movement and apart from that i Wish you a great day. Come back to this channel and try to integrate what you've learned into your practice.